Hey, what's going on everyone? We find ourselves today back in dust. Uh, through last episode, we made our way further deeper into the caves and we found a nice little town called Mud Pot that is filled with uh, short things. I don't really know how to describe them. They kind of look like sentient rocks, perhaps. Um, basically, it turns out that there is a lack of water in Mud Pot. And not only is it affecting all the citizens, it's possibly affecting all of the... Um, monsters as well which is why they potentially or rather is a probable reason for why they attacked aurora village two episodes ago so it turns out there is something they there is someone they call the lady who can control the water or something i don't know and basically we have been tasked to go talk to her and figure out why everything is incredibly dry but firstly because we entered a new town we talked to a lot of people and we got a bunch of side quests and one of them we got was this one, a better fidget. So if you remember all the way back when in Aurora, there was this one guy who was looking for a box. We talked to this one NPC over in Mud Pot and turns out she has a box and it kind of sounds like the box that we're looking for. And she's like a little girl, so she kind of wants fidget. And of course we can't just do that. So right now we're going to head back to Aurora Village and talk to the shopkeeper and see if he can help us out. Aurora Village. Uh, let's go here. Wait, look, right. It's the husband. I got a quest from his wife. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. <sighs> And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. Aww. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Let's go do that real fast. Character. Let's see here. What do we want today? Let's go HP. Why not? Why not? Rescue bonus? Huh. Let's go Let's do that real fast. I'm pretty sure. Wait. That's cute. It's a, it's its own small map. I'm gonna hope. Oh yeah, it's like three blocks. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? Same. I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Guillen and Oneida. <laughs> Whoa, they're... Ooh, hello. Yo, that takes three keys? Or does it say that I have three keys? Cinnamon buns! I have a lot of money. I should get around to spending it. Ugh, another one of these things that I need to figure out how to roll. Hello? Well, I need to get that over here, and I can't do that right now. I can't roll, which means this quest is gonna need to be held off for now. Back to the village! Some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! 
But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? Oh, wow. The rain kicked in right then, too. She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. Didn't you just say that it's hidden and only you, only you know where it is? Shouldn't you be leading us? If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... That was a really great way of writing out that noise. Uh, we're not gonna do that quest now. We've got other quests to deal with. That's Ginger. Uh, shopkeeper. That's Reed. You've almost found your box, my dude. Almost. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton, fabric, and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. Wow, crafty man. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. <laughs> I don't know you anymore. <laughs> ah, excellent. You've brought all the materials. Oh, cool. Would you like me to make the doll now? Wonderful. Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. <laughs> Done. See how well I've captured every nuanced curve? God, that's such a good drawing. G good job, Fidget. Good job. Ah. Uh... See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect! <laughs> no, it really isn't. <laughs> Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Oof. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. The pure size. Fidget is a unit. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. <laughs> I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, while we're here, let's see I have if the best selection you'll ever find in this store to, uh, at this moment. Bye. Because <laughs> I haven't got a lot of money. I should spend some of it, honestly. Um, six keys, 1800. How many? I have four teleports and one revivals. Cell mode. Anything new? Doesn't look like it. You honor us with your pay. Um, okay, let's see here. There's definitely something here that I'm not seeing yet. <laughs> I cannot determine where it is. There. <laughs> hey, okay. Hidden Cove. Where do we want to go? Want to go? Yeah, this one. Yeah, 
Wait. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, I know I know the order of things we're gonna be doing. Cheap! There she is. Okay, Smobop. Here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, <laughs> Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. All right. I'm, I'm curious. Did, did it actually, like, show up? Inventory. Oh my god, it did! <laughs> it has a value of two gold. All right, so we got the box, which is good. Uh, for now, let's explore a bit here in the rest. It looks like... Ooh, okay. So that's for later. That's uh, the basement of a cave, if I'm remembering correctly, what this everything is called. Okay, we're looking for the farm. But this is where we came from the first time. Yeah. I guess a pretty relevant question is who is Gappy? This is Bobo. You'll save my pa, won't you? Please, Dust. You gotta help him. Where where is Wait a minute, these are white sheep. What? <sighs> ah, here we go. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open, because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Uh, take one. If you can find all six of my sheep. Oh, I guess we gotta find all six of them first. Ah! Ah! Alright, we're gonna go give Reed back his box. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to go to that uh, hidden cove, and then we're going to go learn how to crawl. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no, we're going to go to the, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> You found it! Quickly, give it to me! Relax, Reed. It's just a box. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering to you? The whispers, the lies. Uh... I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. Oh, oh no, 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 you opened the box. Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box. Quick, take it back. I can't hold this. Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mud Pot and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit roundabout. Do you know what you've done? 
You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very soul. Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait, what's happening to me? There's something... something wrong with me. Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... weak. Like something sucking the life right out of my body. Then it's already started. Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box! Look, let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't change that. We should be focusing on the future and, you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, it latches onto your soul, tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and soul. What? In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. What? Read! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or or you could end up like me. But you're alive. You're not dead. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. <sighs> Shut up, Fidget. I can feel my life draining away every moment. I thought Reed, he was joking, what do honestly. I have to do? Like, like, I thought that he and Fidget were all of a sudden playing a joke on Reed. You know, they might still be. Travel find out. outside the village. Pick a fight with some monsters and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and return to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. Dust, you can't seriously be considering. Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my life away. We need to get out of the village and fast. <gasps> Hold up, what? Hold up. Excuse me. Reed's evil box. What? Excuse me. Oh, I'm out of thing. Okay. Uh, where can I go die? Archer's Pass. I can go die here. Monsters! Monsters! Monsters, please! Monsters! Monsters! Wait, how am I attacking? I have too much defense and too much help for this quest. <laughs> Yay, there's more. Please, please attack me faster. Please attack me faster. Come on. Come on, don't be shy! Kill me now! Did that do it? Are you okay now? I... think so, yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something. Like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. Okay, that was a... Reed's box. Okay. Ooh, hi. I cannot leave yet. Oh.
You were right, Reed. Somehow that killing blow managed to shake the presence free. I'm back to my normal self again. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway, I was planning on using this revival stone on you if my plan didn't work, but it should still serve as an adequate reward. Wait, that's all I'm getting? Wait, what do you mean if your plan didn't work? Well, it did, didn't it? So now I have no use for this revival stone, and you can take it. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpot had the common sense not to open it. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? The trees themselves whisper an ancient song. Somebody must chop them all down to silence their lies. Well. Goodbye, Reed. Goodbye, Reed. All right, cool, I think. New revival stone, awesome. All right, let's go do that one side quest over at, oh wait. Yeah, I'm, it says I'm still missing something here. Is it up here? It is, awesome. Cinnamon buns. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. <laughs> um, Hidden Cove. Of course, I need to be able to crawl. Guess we're not getting that done yet. Alright, so we're back to the caverns. Because we really don't have anything else we can do right now. Let's go into the basement. Uh, what's over here again? Ah, yeah. Nothing over that way. So. <laughs> Siromon Cavern. Okay. What are we at? We're at. 38%. Alright, not bad. Those are spikes. That's a shopkeeper? I am here to serve. What do you got, my dude? What's that? Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. Whatever it is. Oh, it's wind. Okay. Oh no. no. Camera. Basement is this? Hello? Come with me. Don't know yet where I'll need you, but apparently I will. <gasps> Gimme. Ow. Ow. Oh no. This is bad news, bears. Well, that was a mistake. Um, now we are currently out of those things. Uh, let's equip this. Let's eat one. Eat is fine. Okay, good. Where do we need 
that um, exploding eggplant. Ah! Oh my god. Like a grappling hook. Hello? This looks ominous. No, oh my god, that was idiotic. Slide. Finally! Oh my god, finally! Oh, oh, we can finally slide! Uh, uh, um, hold up, hold up. So, let me see here. No, no. Right here. Yes, yes. So oh, thank God. Uh, this way, I think. No, that was yeah, that was wrong. Can't you crawl? <laughs> He's gonna end up moving the same distance no matter what. Yes. Oh my god, dust, please! Dust, that was not the time to be idiotic. Please stand up, dust! Oh my god. Alright, now is always the time for me to be idiotic, the person using the controller. Ow! Uh, going right? No, we're not. Yes, okay, good. No! We need four keys! Also, there is a an idle head, so I'm gonna take a guess that this is Spelunky? Oh, yeah, there's grappling hook. Yeah, this is totally Spelunky. Alright. Um, we are going to be... Not idiotic some other point. We're gonna save now and call it here. Alright, thanks for following along, everyone.